Okay, we're going to look at a space game I made called Excalibur. It has uh, variable size bullets. Variable size bullets that... Uh, that's why it's called Excalibur, because the gun caliber changes. Anyway, um, so you shoot uh, plasma balls that have a uh, delay fuse. I have, to, I have to do a spacewalk because my ship got tweaked. Um, your ship can get damaged and... Oh, look at that. Uh-oh, I'm floating in space. That's kind of cool. Um, <laughs> so, uh, I got back in the ship. Now I can only turn left. Anyway, uh, I can increase my fuse. Uh, increase the size of my bullet. I can only go left. Anyway, uh, um, there's a control system that will take you out of a spin if you, uh, when you get to the laser level, you need to keep your laser targeted for an extended period of time. Now I have more guns. Anyway, uh, no, I'm almost to the laser level. Even more guns. Got him. Oh, shist. Oh, well. Um, Here's I would have I would have gotten to the laser level. Anyway, here's a game called Rawhide, which uh, round up cattle. Um, I could extend this and uh, have rustlers and rattlesnakes and stampedes, but I'm not interested. Uh, it's a good concept though. When you're doing something original. It's not always fun. <laughs> That's what I've discovered. This is called uh, Wenceslas. You have to guide the peasants to your uh, to warmth. Good King Wenceslas. Uh, they walked in his footprints. Um, you can burn a Yule log. Back in the Middle Ages, they used to uh, the king. When he was feeling generous, would burn a log. <laughs> Times were rough. Anyway, this game I should add like a major blizzard. The blizzard's not very, not a big deal, but like it should like totally white out. Um, anyway, okay, well.